Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. It's Monday morning. Somebody's dog is going wild. Um, and so is Kiddo. <laughs> he went to sleep almost at 1 o'clock, and he's been up since 6. He obviously has a lot of energy, a lot more than I do anyway. I'm very, very, very tired. Luckily, I guess, for me though, um, I knew that one of my son's Monday therapists was going to be out today because she let me know last week that she was taking PTO today. But then, like at 8, I got a text from one of the other therapists letting me know. She's been sick since last week. And she let me know. She actually sent me a video. Poor thing. Um, she is super sick still. And actually, she seems to be getting worse as the days go on, which is awful. My camera... Oh, no. I thought that my camera was broken, but it's got a little ridge to it that's supposed to be there. Um, so, obviously, that's awful, right? Because you don't want to be feeling worse. You want to be feeling better as time goes on. So, I told her, you know, do not worry about us. Just focus on getting better, obviously. Like, it's totally fine. And then the last therapist, the third therapist of the day, I messaged her to be like, hey, so just double checking because there seems to be something going on with everyone. And she tells me, actually, sorry, forgot to tell you, I'm also taking PTO and I'll be out for like the next two weeks or something. So suddenly we have the day off. So that's fine. That works for me because I was meant to record a recipe on Friday and I didn't get around to it so I'm gonna just go ahead and do that today and also there's like a few things around the house that I wanted to do today laundry of course like that's the forever thing I'm always doing laundry so I'm gonna do some laundry today obviously my workout obviously oh I have to call my son's one of my son's therapy centers for a host of things for like cancellations, rescheduling, a meeting that I have to do, like all sorts of stuff. So I have to call them soon. Um, basically though, like the recipe is going to be like the big thing I do today. And um, it's going to be a chill day. There's lots on my list, but there's also lots of time. So everything should get done with loads and loads of like cushion. It'll be fine. So, um... In spite of the fact that I'm really, really tired, I'm also feeling like kind of like good, a beat, motivated. So I want to kind of try to use that energy while I'm still able to harness it. Um, okay, kiddos decided to close the door. Cool. Uh, oh, speaking of outside, I mentioned yesterday, last night, in the last episode. I'll post that up here. That's the other thing I have to do today is I have to edit the last episode. Um, but I mentioned in that episode that amongst the ducks and iguanas that we usually find by the lake here, there was a rooster <laughs> yesterday. And every once in a while, I hear this rooster, but he always gets a very late start to the day. He only starts crowing at like 9 a.m. And um, sure enough, this morning, since I was already up at 7, I did hear him very far away once. And I went, oh, look at that. He does wake up early. Fine, went about my morning, and now at about like 9.07, he just started over and over and over and over. Like, oh, okay, it's 9 o'clock. Thanks, thanks, Rooster. Um, so luckily him being on this side of the lake now did not actually affect anything sleep-wise. I was worried he might get started earlier, or maybe he usually starts earlier and I just don't hear him because he's farther away, but didn't affect anything. Kiddo was going to be up at that time regardless, it seems. So yeah, at some point today, I'll do some editing. At some point today, I'll do some recording. And otherwise, it's just same old, same old stuff that I always have to do around the house to keep the house well, to keep my kid well, to keep our pet well, to keep myself well, and so on. But I'm going to have a lot more time to do each of these things, which is a very nice relief, especially today where I am beat before the sun even comes up. So, if anything comes up, I'll let you all know. Um, I might insert some footage of the recipe just as like a little sneak peek. But for now, happy Monday. Hello, darlings. Happy Tuesday morning. <sighs> Got a little bit of sleep last night, which was nice. 
Um, Kiddo's actually still asleep. I'm gonna have to wake him up soon because he's not gonna have time to have breakfast before therapy if I let him keep sleeping. Got my laundry started. Today, we have a couple things scheduled. <sighs> Gotta sort the laundry. I keep getting these pulses right here on the right side of my temple. They're on and off and excuse me duck I'm talking they're not developing into a headache they're not developing into a migraine they're just kind of coming and going and it's very annoying and also very I want to say it's very scary because I feel like if this doesn't happen all the time I would be really concerned that suddenly I'm getting like an ice pick pain through the side of my brain um, but unfortunately this is something that it doesn't happen super frequently lately but it does happen frequently where I get these stabbing pains right here and actually a couple nights ago I got one through here like it felt like it went through this part of my head and like through my eye um, and I don't know what it's about but since it happens to me often enough and I'm still standing and also since I know that I have it's happening again since I know that I get migraines, it's easy for me to just write it off, but, um, yeah, it just sucks. It's not a good feeling. Um, I probably need more sleep. That's another thing that it's like, it's easy to write off whenever I'm feeling icky in any way. It's like, well, when was the last time you slept? 13 years ago? That explains it. So, um, yeah, but I'm, I'm currently not feeling super great, but I do have a ton I gotta do today. I'm going to clean out my dishwasher. I do it once a month, so it shouldn't be like terrible because it's not like I've never done it. It's just the gunk it's accumulated since last month. But I do like to stay on top of it because I don't want it to get disgusting. So I'm doing that today. Uh, do, 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 the laundry, like I said. That back room is such a super disaster and I do have to clear it out. Not necessarily organize it, but at least empty it because we have physical therapy at some point today so that has to happen and that's like daunting because it just there's so much stuff everywhere that it's like literally how like where are all these things going to end up if not in here eventually they will go back but it's just a lot <sighs> I want to empty out speaking of empty out the linen closet and just re- I'm not going to throw things out. I'm not going to literally I just want to take everything out and put it all back in because so many things have just been shoved in there with no regard for like organization or making sure things are folded properly or even like this is where the towels go. This is where the linens go. Never the twain shall meet like zero respect for that. So I just want to take everything out and put it back in so that it looks tidy. So I want to do that today. I've been meaning to do that for ages, but I'm going to finally do it today, hopefully. Oof, I'm going to sneeze. <laughs> and then um, I'm going to finally make the freaking recipe. I meant to do it on Friday, and I just did not feel like it. And then I meant to do it yesterday, and I had everything out and ready to go. And then I realized, oh, I don't have a pie plate here. I left my pie plate at my mom's house, and I need that. So I got it yesterday from her. And now today, I'm finally actually prepared to do the recipe. So I'm going to do it today. Jeez. I actually have a recipe that I need to do today. A recipe and a half that I need to do tomorrow because one of the components for the recipe that I'm going to record on Thursday, um, I need to like prepare it. It has to be ready to go before I can use it on Thursday. So, oh, it's Mushu. I thought somebody was at the door, but it's Mushu finally waking up. He's finally warmed up enough to move around. So yeah, so basically I'm recording a recipe today. I'm recording a recipe tomorrow and also preparing some of another recipe so that on Thursday I can record a third recipe this week. And then next thing you know, it'll be dinner time and then next thing you know, it'll be bedtime and then we get to try to do it all over again tomorrow. So, oh, I'm just so tired. Anyway, that's what's going on today. I'm sure I'll show you little snips of the recipe, etc. Um, maybe I'll even show you a before and after the linen closet. Maybe. We'll see about that. But, um, yeah. For now, happy Tuesday. 
I did not expect to have to empty my pantry to find ingredients that I knew I owned. But yet here we are. So this is wildly inconvenient. I really do not have time for this today. But I have no choice. I gotta put all this together as well on top of everything else that I already had going. I have a break in my recipe where I'm just waiting for something to come to boil and it's taking 10,000 years. So I wanted to pop in and give you guys a little bit of an update on a current situation just because I just rewatched the last episode and I was talking about something that um, I didn't even realize there's an update on. So I mentioned at the beginning of the last episode that we were going to see our in-person therapist last week finally but then she got sick or she had been sick all week and she was on the tail end of it but she thought just in case let me take one more day can I come on Friday instead and I told her maybe not because if you're still not feeling well maybe we shouldn't take the chance but we'll just see you next week being this week I was supposed to talk to her yesterday and she instead sent me a video of herself taking her temperature and she had a fever so she also sent me a text telling me that she thought she was getting better but actually she's just getting worse and so we're not going to talk on Monday we're meant to see her on Thursday. If she's only getting worse, then obviously A, I made the right call telling her not to come last week. But also B, I'm kind of feeling like maybe she shouldn't come this week either. And at that point, it means that we've only seen her like once in a month. Once ever, because it's we've only seen her one time ever in person. But especially because she's only getting worse. Definitely I should cancel, right? Hello my pals, it's Wednesday morning. Uh, ooh. That's the third time that's happened today. I'm actually counting. I thought I was in the clear. Kiddo's right next to me by the way. He's having a very clingy day, but he's in such a great mood that like I feel bad leaving his space, but also like he's being very loud. And um, <laughs> I know, but we're having a good time though, right? Um, yeah. yeah, yesterday I got to feeling really, really poorly. Like, my husband was concerned, actually, because I looked like I felt. And, um, in spite of all that, I still was not able to get to sleep until past 2 a.m. And I thought I'd turned my alarm off for this morning, because since it's Wednesday, I'm able to sleep in today. And it turns out I had not. I forgot to turn my alarm off, so my alarm went off at the normal time. And then I had a really hard time trying to get back to sleep after that, so I kind of just gave up. But I didn't wake up with a headache, so I thought, okay, good, I must have gotten enough sleep. I'm in the clear. But about 30 minutes ago, I got the first kind of stabby pain, and it's happened three times now since. And so, so far, it's not as bad as yesterday, but it could eventually build to that, so I don't know. Can we turn that down a little bit, buddy? Thank you so much. So, um, yeah, the day, we have the day off from therapy, so I already went and concluded a recipe because it was when I started yesterday and I needed to finish it today. So I went ahead and I did that already. Um, I've done laundry. I need yeah. to pick up the therapy room, right? Because potentially the in-home therapist is coming tomorrow. I still haven't made up my mind whether I should let her come back tomorrow. Because even if she's feeling better, like, what if she's still contagious? I don't know. I would prefer she not come. So that's the direction I'm leaning. But I still feel like I should prepare the house in case I decide, you know, last minute that, yeah, fine, you, you can come. I've changed my mind yet again. Um, so I want to pick up the therapy room. I have to do stuff with my son's scholarship. I'm going to box up some donations. I'm going to record another recipe beginning to end in a little bit and um, then I just have my workout and stuff and then now suddenly it's time for evening things and then it's time for bedtime things so yeah but this whole stabbing pain in my temple situation and actually earlier I was having a little bit of pain right in here which makes me wonder if the whole situation is sinus related or if I'm having a situation with my sinuses and also I'm having a migraine I honestly don't know all I know is that I'm not feeling great and I haven't been feeling great for the last few days 
and um, it's kind of starting to like compound on itself where I'm only starting to feel worse and worse and worse. I'm not sick though, thank goodness, but um, I don't know if it's exhaustion or stress or a combination or something entirely different. But it hasn't been a good week as far as physically how I'm feeling. So I'm still in a good mood, which is nice. Yesterday I was in a bad mood on top of feeling like garbage. So I want to take advantage of my good mood and see how much I'm able to accomplish before I start to feel worse. Assuming I might start to feel worse. Hopefully that's not the case either, but you just never know. So those are the plans for the day. See, I'm just oh, I'm getting another one. This sucks. I don't know what's going on. I well, I again exhaustion and stress potentially, but like I'm eating well, I'm hydrated, I'm taking all my vitamins and minerals. So like nothing as far as all that has changed. I'm still exercising daily. I'm getting movement and endorphins and all that. So none of that's oh my gosh changed. But um, something's obviously going on. So it's just, you know, the migraine that doesn't end. I've been feeling like crap for several days now. And I can only hope that today will be the day that it starts to get better. So that's what's going on. Happy Wednesday. My hair is doing absurd things. I'm tired of caring. Um, I just got an Amazon delivery. And it was a huge box. And I opened it. And it was these huge baskets. I mentioned a couple episodes ago that I was going to measure over the top of my kitchen cabinets and try to find baskets that weren't awful so that I could put away small appliances, um, things that I sometimes use for cooking or baking but I don't use every day so that way they're not taking up counter space, etc. And supposedly these will fit. It came in a set of four. It is plastic, I guess, but it's kind of forrado, English, forrado, wrapped? Let's say wrapped. It's kind of wrapped in some sort of a material that makes it look like it's wood, so it's not trashy looking. They're pretty tall, pretty wide, pretty deep. They're a decent size. I like them. They have handles. Um, but also like from the front because I'm planning to put them in like this they're gonna just appear solid so I think aesthetically anyways this is as good as I could hope for I looked at a lot of different like types and this was by far my favorite looking set so now I just have to double check that they fit and if they do then I feel like I might have found a solution so that's exciting. This isn't something I was planning to do today, but that's fine. I will make the time because this is something I've been wanting to do for a long time. And um, I'll have them linked down below in case you find yourself in the rare uh, same situation that I'm in with the kitchen or if you just want nicer looking baskets for storage. But um, yeah, I came in a set of four and I like them. I like how they look. And I think that they're going to each hold plenty, which I also really love because since there's four of them, I'll be able to separate them like, you know, cups, cookware, etc., etc. You guys know I love uh, an organizational theme. And is that even a word? Like, is that does that mean anything to you guys? I'm fried. So the real test now, the one big question mark is, do they actually fit? So let's let's find out together. The dryer is going and I am short, but I'm going to try to do this. Ugh. Yeah, okay. I mean, it'll go it goes much further back. There's way more room there. But I'm going to need a ladder to get that down now. But it does fit. I was worried like top to bottom would it fit and it absolutely does. So yay. Solution found. All right, an update. There's stuff on the stove because I'm about to make a recipe like I said. But Da -da 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 -da. was able to put away basically those two are things little appliances 
um, lots of Tupperware because I have so much Tupperware and like the glass ones and only so many fit in my cabinets so I know that if I ever make too much of something and I need more they're up there my magic bullets up there with all its accessories my mini crock pots up there with all its accessories and then actually that one over there is almost empty so I still have more space for stuff and then these first two are like pantry overage like stuff that's still sealed but that I'm probably not going to reach for anytime soon because it's like doubles of things or whatever so that's up there so that's the good news I feel good about the state of the kitchen right now I can see everything and where everything's at so that's lovely um, a vast improvement for sure but here's the snag because of course there has to be a snag I don't know who put this kitchen together but oh my gosh this whole set of stuff over here that I could potentially also use for storage if I need it but there's way less clearance between this cabinet and the ceiling than there is on the other side for some reason you'd think they'd try to make it even but no they didn't for some reason I don't know so um, I can't fit those boxes. I was actually trying to make that side all pantry overage and this side all appliances so that, or like appliances and stuff, so that I could keep better organized and not go nuts when I have to look for something specific. But obviously that could not be the case because these beautiful perfect baskets will not fit up there because of how the kitchen was built. So basically I'm gonna move that box from there because I hate how it looks now <laughs> I'm gonna hide it back here somewhere maybe behind one of these other boxes but that sucks because that's a whole lot of other space that I could be using and I should be able to use but if I want to use it I have to go back to like square one and try to find it's impossible matching baskets that are just smaller I don't think they exist Maybe I get lucky, but it looks like unfortunately I can't do anything with any of that space, which is just the name of the game in this kitchen. Like you'd think looking at it, well why can't you fit everything in here, it should be fine, but it's just the way things are set up, the way they're oriented, the way they're literally built, you actually can't use it in practice. It's my son's wheelchair all over again. It's designed so that it could quote unquote do these things, but once you actually try to do them, you realize that actually in practice it's impossible. Hello my pals, it's Thursday morning. Totally forgot to do an outro yesterday. Um, I woke up feeling so hungry. But I did sleep a little bit last night, which is good. I shouldn't be talking about this. I shouldn't be talking about this. This is for the next episode, which actually, this week's a little bit different, a little bit funky, because today is February 29th. It's leap day, because this is a leap year. And last time this happened, the world was an extremely different place. <laughs> um, and I actually did a day in my life that day, specifically because I thought it would be cool to look back on it four years later and kind of compare. So if you want to see that first Leap Day vlog, I'm going to post it up here. And today I'm going to spend the day, instead of like starting the new episode today, I'm going to do an in-depth day in the life, what I eat in the day type vibe today. I'm going to release that on Sunday and then the next episode, the next full episode, which will comprise Friday, Saturday, Sunday, that's going to come out on Tuesday as usual. Um, but I just thought that that would be fun instead of doing like a recipe or a haul or something this week to dedicate a whole day to just vlogging leap day like I did last time. So um, that's what I'm going to get into today, among other things. Yesterday was fine. Um, we had the day off, so I did a lot of stuff around the house. I threw out so many things, I reorganized so many things, um, I put together a box of donations that I'm going to take to the therapy center on Friday, so very, very productive day, and um, today's going to be nuts, but that's a whole other thing. So I'm going to go ahead and call that a wrap on this episode so that I can cut and then start again with the next episode, the new episode, which will just be for today. 
So let me know what you guys are up to. Um, you're obviously watching this after Leap Day, so let me know if Leap Day was different or special for you in any way, or if it was just another Thursday. That's going to be the challenge of this next vlog, is that the last time it was Leap Day was Saturday, and so there was a lot of stuff going on. Actually, that doesn't happen all the time, but also like that I had more freedom to do things because it was a Saturday. Today's Thursday, so we have therapies and stuff, but... We'll see. We'll see if we can still make it work and make it a fun video. So anyways, hope you guys are doing great. Let me know what you're up to. And as always, I want to thank you all so much for being here and watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I hope you'll please give it a big thumbs up. I'd also love it if you would subscribe and click the notification bell because I post at least three times a week and I wouldn't want you to miss a minute. Thanks so much again for watching. Bye.